when you think about spreading thoughts of goodwill. Sometimes it seems futile. There's so much ill will in the world right now. How much difference can your goodwill make? Well, it makes a difference. At the very least, it makes a difference in your world. Because each of us lives in our own worlds. We're in the same room here, but each person is in a different world. And that's your first responsibility, is making a good world for yourself. Because if you're coming from a good world, you have a lot to share. If your world is a mess, then you can be a drain on other people. So straighten out your world inside. Have lots of goodwill for everybody. And remember, you're doing this for them and for you. For them in the sense that if you really have goodwill for other people, you're not going to kill them, steal anything from them, have illicit sex with them, lie to them, take intoxicants around them. That's making life a lot easier for them. And you do it for yourself, because you want to make sure that your actions are good actions, because that's what you live with. It's because of your actions that you're reborn. And then you re reap the results of your actions. So this world that you live in, fill it with as much goodwill as you can. The Buddha says it's your wealth. Everybody who practices that, it's just it's their wealth. The commentary explains that, that if you have goodwill for others, they will be happy to give to you. But that's, that's cheapening the idea. The real wealth here is that you live surrounded by goodwill, and you can keep on producing it. You're like a treasury that has the right to mint money. And you have a special right, which is that, unlike the treasuries of the world, where the more they mint, the less the value of the money. Here you can just keep on minting your goodwill, making more of it, more of it, more of it, and its value actually increases. So you take this human characteristic we have, that we have goodwill for some beings, and you learn how to expand it. You take your little bit of human wealth and you turn it into Brahma wealth, heavenly wealth. In other words, you don't extend goodwill just to the people you like. You extend it to everybody. You have to think about what that means. People you don't like, people who are doing horrible things, you have goodwill for them too. That means that you hope that they will change their ways if they're harming others. And one of the phrases the Buddha gives for extending goodwill is, may they not have ill will for one another. In other words, you're hoping that other beings will have goodwill too. And that way it spreads around. Now whether they will or not, that's up to them, which is why we have equanimity, realizing that you can't straighten out everybody else's worlds. But your world is the world that you're shaping, so shape it well. And it starts with goodwill. There was a book years back, What the Buddha Taught, that tried to explain the Buddha's teachings in terms of the Four Noble Truths. And then a few left over at the end where the author couldn't fit them into the Four Noble Truths. At least he couldn't see a way to fit them. And one of them was goodwill. But he's missing the point. It's part of right resolve. It's part of our path. You can't do without it. So for your sake, for the sake of the people around you, for your world, and for the sake of getting out of worlds altogether, spread as much goodwill as you can. And learn how to think about it in such a way that it does become universal. That you, you can genuinely feel it for anybody. That's when your goodwill becomes gold.